Hi Crypto Kings and Queens, welcome to my channel. My name is Natalie. In today's episode, we will continue to go through what Fibonacci levels we can read test for a potential next drop. Okay. We're using the last lower high with the lower low and that is giving us levels around 17,290 and 17,590 for a potential read test. This is very important because we also saw the break of structure and we are below the support trend line that was representing the pullback. We are in a downtrend at the moment but we just might need to see the market squeeze up a little bit more until we see the market potentially then have a drop to some of the take profits that I have around 15,000 and 14K at the moment. Don't forget, I am no financial advisor. You need to look up everything yourself first, but please continue looking at this video and I'll show you in detail of what I see right now on BTC and why. start off again with Bitcoin and see what Bitcoin has been doing since the last time we looked at it and the last time we looked at it we were actually looking at this support if it was supposed to be a fake out or not if you are looking at the previous video that I spoke about this was where I told you guys that most likely we will have a fake out and this was actually what we did have we had a break of the support at 16,630 then we had the breakout candle we had the retest candle that did close above it which means that this is a fake out most likely we can drop down to the same level at around 16,650.30 for a potential retest and from here we will also see if this is a retest of the fake out that we did have in a possible continuation we do have the previous support that we did break that's around 17,020 and 17,150 if we are zooming out on the daily to see what could potentially happen the support at this level uh, at 16,870 so if we are climbing I actually want to use this level instead and so yeah it definitely looks like this can be a level where we see the market on the lower time frames will hold as it potential support now so we can just make the box a little bit smaller because we don't want to have too big of boxes and you can see how the market has been retesting this level for such a long time and now we can actually see how the market did climb above the level and this is where we will see if this is a break inside the previous support that we did break retest a continuation and of course we drag if we drag a Fibonacci from 18,370 down to 16,262 then we will also of course before we see the market reach this level at 18,470 because remember we almost came up and retested this Fibonacci based on that push that we did have to the upside we have the drop which also broke structure now we have had have to look at this level first of all between 17,315 and 17,570 if this will be where the market pulls back up and retest first of all we are right now looking for a potential continuation to the upside to this Fibonacci which is also extremely important because that is also combined with the previous support that we did break so we have the market in the uptrend we broke structure combined with the last with the last high with the new lower low we are using the Fibonacci to calculate in the middle the 1561.8 percent if this will be the new retest for the next lower high level and then another drop if that's the drop that we have on BTC well then we have three different tick profits this is long term so this is gonna if this is the case this is gonna take some time um of course it doesn't I mean I mean, we all know they can take one second too if the market wants to do that. But if the market is retesting these levels and we start to see that the market doesn't have the power to break inside the support trend line, again, then that can be the beginning for the market to create the next impulsive move. Now, remember, long time targets, we can drop down and this is, is, is a minus 0.23% Fibonacci is exactly combined with the support that we have at 15,810. If the market breaks, that level then we have the target two at 14,694 and take profit three at 13,730 
for the levels that we just might continue to drop down to which is also very good combined because the first take profit that we did have at 18,470 take profit one is combined where in the middle of where take profit two and three is on this Fibonacci and because we have already retested this level first target is at 14,070, which the market I strongly believe will continue down to. But you can see the distance between the, the take profits that I do have, it's very big. So this means that it's gonna take some time for the market to reach those levels because now we're looking at the daily. And when you're looking at the daily candlestick, you can see that for so long, the market has been having a pullback. Market broke the pullback. We just might have another pullback, have another drop, have another pullback, might go up again. You know, so this is gonna take some time for the market to reach these levels. So this is not something that I say will happen in two weeks or maybe even a one month because you can see how long it takes for the market when it consolidates and when you have the next impulsive move. So the consolidation and the pullback is so much longer than we have the drops in the impulsive move. You can see for three, you have one, two, three, four days. For four days, we had this huge drop. And then you saw for so many days, the market was in a sideways market. We slowly steady saw the market have the momentum up. Then we saw the retest and this can be the beginning of the next impulse to move but we just might need to have another pullback for then see this big momentum that we did have before because remember the impulse to move is to the downside and this is where we'll see the market just drop and then you have the pullback and then we'll have the small drop we have the pullback we have a huge drop we have a pullback so somewhere i do believe that pretty soon that we'll see the market have some momentum at least or that's what I do expect. But we are overall in a sideways market and we all know that and patient is very important at these times. But definitely the first level that I'm looking at when it comes to B2C is between 17,315 and 17,580 for a retest and then a continuation down. So we're in, we need to look and see how the market's gonna behave around this level. I cannot say if this is gonna happen or not, but this is definitely something that we need to have in mind and on the lower time frames we will slowly instead of see the market reversing from a uptrend because in a pullback in a downtrend market the pullback is in the uptrend and then you'll slowly instead of see the market break structure inside the Fibonacci level because that's how market is behaving and that's based that is the basics of all the basics when it comes to trading. So when we're looking at the buy bitch chart, we can also analyze in here. So say for example, now the market will pull back up to the level that I spoke about. Then we need to take the Fibonacci. This is B to C USDT. We drag it from 21,452 back down to the low at 15,437. And then we're just gonna add a box because I don't like when we have all of these different colors. So we're just gonna drag a box with the 15 61.8% between 19,155 and 18,445. And we're just going to take away the Fibonacci. So if the market reaches level, then I will, of course, enter a sell position when it comes to it. And this is also the platform where you can receive a bonus up to $30,030 by using the link in the description down below the video. You also have it right here pinned in the corner. This is how you are supporting the channel. So I am always available for you. As you guys can see, this is a leverage trading platform that we're using but of course when you understand how leverage trading is working and you work with risk management now that's not going to be a problem for you okay this is a good platform for everyone that wants to trade only cryptocurrencies with very low fees and you have zero fees right now when it comes to spot pairs it takes around 30 seconds for you to sign up on it so make sure that you're claiming the best bonus available right now thank you everyone for looking at this video together with me don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the notification so you know when i am live next time and when i do have my daily update I know that we have some news coming out tomorrow, so let us see if how that's gonna affect the market, if that's actually gonna be where we see the market push up to these levels. Until then, I wish everyone a great night or day wherever you are. I love you!